here's the euro dollar this is the daily chart and we came up into this uh, bottoms become tops on Wix right at the 20 yard line we got a reversal we didn't make it up to the closing floor here and we the uh, sell zone started I suppose anywhere above this above that uh, wick so right now you're still underwater if you started selling all the way up into here if you set up all your cells in this big thing then you scalped out of the top of that and coming back to here if you do the five minute chart um, you see make this the one hour chart and here's uh, accumulation possible you're sitting right at this uh, top bottom launching pad of this whole story so I'm scalping this up and down in here right now every time we get up here I just dump it and then I reload here and the news came out on I don't know the news doesn't seem to be rocking these markets like people are like all crapping their pants over the news and the big thing is when the stock market opens up in 20 minutes so we're either gonna break up or break down out of this but the uh, trends up in the long term but these are all the uh, remember way back here where it all started this 20 pip grid and another another example of just placing your order like a moron which you know it's just always gonna make more money to be stupid if you had a sell limit based on this high that you know exists there's no there's no I just had another guy telling me he makes seven figures trading uh, advanced patterns Wow. I mean, incredible. His comments funnier than even his his uh, the money he's making. But if you just this is unadvanced trading, and it really if advanced pattern trading first get down tr uh, pattern trading and then call me about the advanced, and then put the harmonics in. So accumulation in here, buy sell buy sell or buy dump sell dump, and. Uh, waiting for the uh, stock market to open triple bottom here right at the uh, 20 now we made a new low by about a half a pip there so here's where we could plunge right to the floor and probably are gonna get a plunge uh, 10 to 20 pips maybe so it buy stops above and I got buy limits below so I split my ticket as far as um, how much I'm going to commit on confirmation entry, entry and how much is going to be um, anything can happen entry. So if you're scalping this thing, the initial bounce off of this low would be your scalp. You'd be getting out right now. If you bought that triple bottom, you just dump something. Now maybe you hold till it comes up to the top of that and then you're out of a third of the position, the rest of the position you let go. Because you know they're going to smash this all around the map later on today anyways, right? And it's 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 not going to give a fuck of where the apex of your Gartley's at. So with two minutes to go, the question is, is this a triple bottom and an uptrend? Is this the best place to buy or is this the place to put a sell stop and get picked up on a possible crash? Or should I sell right now with a stop up here because I think it's going to go to hell. So if I sell one here at the market with a stop here and I'm like it's going to hell then what happens if it stops me out? Well I say well I got a sell limit on that wick because I know there'll be a really good scalp here for a pullback to here. So if you're only trying to make 10 pips your whole world's based upon getting those first 10 pips out of the gate. So if you can make those first 10 then you can worry about making 100 pips because unfortunately if you want to make 100 pips in Forex you got to put a 50 pip stop in which means you got to risk quite a bit of money and 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 now you've got to you're locked out of trading you've used your one or two percent for the day so it's better to take small profits now people say you would never make money taking small profits but if you're just starting out and when I say just starting out I'm not talking about this all or this people have this all uh, focused on one thing if you have five accounts and one of those accounts is just like okay you got a couple bucks in there but you're not scalping it it's like okay 
you're putting on your Stapleton hat and you're being these do-gooders and you're going to go and plan that trade out. Then the other side of you is going to just going to psycho scalp it. I tell you, those two things are living inside of it. You know, it's the old uh, devil on one shoulder, angel on the other shoulder. Everybody's li living in the supposed world of, well, they're going to do the right thing, but within reason. You know, within reason. Okay, so here if I bracketed right now and said I'm going to put a hedge on, I don't know which way it's going. Sure, I put one order in like that. I put a stop in, put a limit. Whatever happens. So if you're okay with not getting filled on your psychotically outrageous limits that are way down and 300 pips deep. And, you know, news has been coming out all day long here. Big news. Market's not reacting. Okay. The biggest move in this market is before the news. This whole rally in the euro, what was that based on? To me, it's just nothing but a bail book balancing before the news because people let go, they unwind positions into the news, obviously. Somebody is. And they're not sure, so they're like, hell, we're up so fucking big, we're at the edge, we're at unfair value. Everybody knows unfair value is unsustainable. Even this rally this morning. You're looking at this thing. It's up 300 pips, man. Now, had you sold into that every four hours, you only got killed by X, whatever that number is. And if you had sell stops come back the other way, maybe you picked up some scalps here. So even the counter trend traders could have made money on this euro dollar. Now, this is one week of sheer engulf. And maybe it's not done. Maybe we are going to try to pop out this top here. Look at the double top. Counter trend scalp. Pretty good trade, right? 50 fucking pips. You know, 50 pips. And uh, I think the confirmation, or you can sell on a stop here. Uh, if you're going to be super confirmation ridiculous. So I just watched a video here. Some guy finally posted a video. Uh, this was done uh, November 2nd. So this guy just did this video. Unfucking believable. 11 views. He totally describes how to trade the market. So I'm going to put this as a link in the, in the thing. But the thing is, is that if you were to put your sell stop at this level here, this is the whole thing of everybody has a different way of getting in if you sell on a stop break here or he says even at the market he even use words like that so he said a pending order or market order so when he said pending i'm assuming he meant put a sell stop right here because if we take this low out this is the neckline so this is unadvanced pattern trading so he puts a stop up here he sells on a break here his target is to make this much makes sense his a possibility get trapped on that trade too so right now you're short you do what you're told but maybe you didn't do it because you're an uptrend so maybe you're going to do the opposite and maybe you've got buy stops here now there are th this is resistance but what if you were to do buy this doji here this baby bar and this top this pullback zone so you know they're gonna they, they want to stop out they want to crush that the market needs to fill it's cantilevered out too far like if you made too many uh, extensions the market gets overextended it goes parabolic it gets fragile then it's going to come back i mean this is the how many times you've seen this right so just your typical um sloppy uh choppy and then it's like oh tumble city and it rolls over and um but uh, this is the four hour chart so the trap here is the weekly trap and there's maybe one more price pulse left in this where we go up so if you go if you go a five minute chart you're looking at triple bottom on the five four hours sitting at the pullback and the scalpers are going to get out here like a lot of people are just going to bail if we ever make it back to this price so you don't have to be looking way out don't look back fucking three years on your chart with a with a bat wing it's just gonna fuck your head up 
just speaking for myself because I'm simpleton, you know, I got like half a brain cell left after trading. So and a big disclaimer on my video. So, yeah, if you're from the linear world and you're from that, uh, you know, I saw in The Hobbit they were trading Forex. Bilbo was on his iPhone. But unfortunately, the double bottom, triple bottom, we don't know if that's going to be a triple bottom or double bottom. The market, when it accumulates and, and distributes, a double bottom, triple bottom, quadruple bottoms. We've seen quintuplet bottoms. I've seen octuple bottoms, um, depending on what time frame. Now, if I go to the one-minute chart, you're going to say, holy shit. one-minute chart, you're going to make a condense this. So this is 5x, 5 fucking x. Here is the low. Do you retest? Yes. Is it a good place to buy? Yes. Duh. Next question. Okay, but who's on this one minute chart? Well, you don't have to be on it. You could just place your order here for the scalp. And where's your exit going to be? You already know your exit. How do you know? You look, look left and when I say left don't be looking back to the beginning of time for this shit that's your floor that's your scalp window this is where everybody's having a heyday right in here like woohoo yeah I've got you Woof. and this bottom be keeps keeps rejecting one minute chart want you want to learn how to trade put on a one minute chart and start fucking trading just shut the fuck up and trade that one minute chart because you'll just figure it out look at it's not going anywhere it's caught in this channel, but you you got uh, three minutes to hit this trade. You think you're good at trading? Do you have time to get out fib tools on this shit? Do you need fib? To if you need fib tools, man, this is like, listen, when you, when you get steam coming out of the top of your car, do you really need the idiot lights on the dash to tell you something's fucking wrong with your car? You're trading money, supposedly, you know, you're a serious trader trading money. So could I say, oh yeah, well, this is the trend line to break. Fuck yes, of course. But do I buy now before or wait for a breakout confirmation, then buy it when it's really going up, and then, oh, they slammed it back. Why confirmation sucks? You're a fool for confirmation. You're a fool for the city. Fog hat, right? You're a fool for the fucking city. Can you sit here and put all these fucking fancy channels on here? Well, yeah, what if it did that? What if? You're going to really bet the ranch on this head and shoulders that I'm making up here? This trend line I'm making up on the fly? One minute. Is this a triangle? Is this the top that just became a bottom on the one minute? Yeah, there's a lot of failed dreams here. But look at all the fucking great trades. If you're really going to trade at the market, right there, one minute, pull trigger. One minute, pull trigger. Okay, is this a lot of money? Maybe not. If you're trading super big on that, that's a high probability trade. Um, look at how this becomes the repivot zone again and again. So are we above this internal quadruple top become a bottom? We have a trend line that broke. Maybe it's tanking. Or well, maybe be more conservative. We'll put the longer term moving average. I'm waiting for this thing to sort itself out. We got buy stops pending here. And every every time it clicks down, I, I, I put up... Uh, I put a uh, here a great place for buy stop internal top become a bottom fractal right there one minute chart this is your trend line to break right this is your cipher so here's your bat wing right you want a bat wing it's for the bat wing people people who can't identify swing high swing low okay here's triple I call this the triple I am gonna start pattern trading I believe we need new, new names for this shit I call this the native I call this three TPs now this probably be a problem I call this the native um, eagle wing and trade I, you got to see some of the stuff people got out there I'm just gonna get it so I can't see the fucking price I'm just in denial that there's volatility oh look at this look at this entry see now had you had a limit sitting there, and I don't know, spread in this broker. I don't know if you would have got filled. Look at this. The kickback before the big move. It's 10 minutes. The stock market's been open. We broke the trend line. If we, you know, this is it. 
are we going up or are we going down so you got the one minute chart here you got the four on the rear view mirror you could have scalped all this bullshit here in the morning this most money I ever will ever make in trading is scalping and swing trading at the same time so I mean you're aware of the fact that this thing is a double top you could have sold it last night on the on the one hour chart right triple top on the one hour meets the four hour double top come on it's not fucking brain surgery right at the 20 yard line right at the 20 so if you pick how many pips you want to risk your targets are built into this thing you can't fuck it up the only thing going to fuck it up is if you overthink it you know that movie isn't there a movie that uh, she's just not that into you like this the, the problem with the garley thing it's like oh what if I'm like, dude what what if and you, you cannot trade that what if shit and none of these garley none of these batwing people have a clue i mean they apparently volatility doesn't mean shit to them the market just spiked down 40 pips in 40 seconds they're like oh well it doesn't uh, it broke it I broke my uh Gartley setup pattern. Oh, I violated the X wave. Okay, violated the X wave. Great. Wonderful. So you've built your whole world around, well, my girlfriend not only has to have blonde hair, blue eyes, but she's got to be wearing this and she has to have this kind of car. If you dive the whole thing in, you're out of the market. You're not going to get laid. So do you have to go for back alley um, abortion trading? Yeah, fortunately you do. You have to go. And do all the dirty stuff that people, all the dirty work, you know. Um, it, it's not, so the guy says to me in the video, oh, you just want it easy, people like you. I'm like, I'm telling people, you got to place orders. That's the work. You can analyze this so you can contemplate your navel. You could tell me how the uh, chemtrails are keeping you from making money in Forex. But, I mean, in the end, you know, uh nothing's going to save you from the math of winning and losing and then there's the rationalizations i'm surprised i'm hearing this from trading coaches these uh self-proclaimed do-gooders you know and honestly i mean it's wonderful these people are going to uh, do some kind of uh, charity run but i'm thinking right here it's how selfish can you get i'm going to work out and i'm going to be giving money i'm going to give presents away to all the children well, if you're that good at fucking trading, why don't you hand them tablets with a fucking MT4 tablet on there and get them fucking trading before, you know, they build their own fucking college fund for their own fucking gray matter. Anyways, let's not go there. But uh, what is this fucking do-gooder shit? You just cripple people. I love that. Let me help you out. <sighs> yeah, I bought you a wheelchair. How do you feel now? Well, I kind of feel like dependent. It's like, and then a little Stockholm syndrome never hurts, right, to a dysfunctional relationship. But this market's a dysfunctional relationship. Okay, so I feel like I want to scalp out here. So if I dump right here, I'm at resistance, right? It would, sellers are coming in here. So this is the big problem is, am, am I a scalper now or am I, am I still a swing trader? Well, if I know I got the order available to buy three pips deep, I would dump the whole fucking thing load up on a script i hopefully have at my fingertips to buy three four or five six of so the guy said to me one day i can't believe you're buying every pip well it depends what market you're in every pip on the euro here all morning would have made you you know presupposing your targets are s hard set or you're getting the fuck out um you, you just you know you'd have to just breathe with the market in a size that you can make money at. So if you open too many stores, right? If you have too many stores, you're going to lose money because all of a sudden what happens when they get busy in your loan inventory and you have the back order stuff? Like, you know, in the old days when you'd have, uh, maybe this is uh, when Nixon was in office, but you have back order. They would say back ordered and I'd say, oh, yeah, you have And they have to go to another supplier, right? And now, um, now there's the scarcity that's all supply and demand story you know they claim this is what the uh, gold people are claiming why gold should go up well, there's only so much gold you know they can only fill two um bite-sized jacuzzis with these uh with these with how much gold is on the planet and uh fuck i don't know i mean it's just hilarious and then um it's like if you don't have ass cancer you're doing really good and, and especially the fact that people are living so long now it's like, good lord. I mean, it's like a contest. 
I think people do treat that like money in the bank somehow. And of course, trading, uh, you know, one hour chart. Oh my God. Um, look at how long that we've been treading water on this fucking euro here. Another moment of truth. Can we take out this top? Now, a lot of people are going to buy on this breakout. This is the five minute fractal. They're buying a double top. This video I'm going to post. The guy's going to put a buy stop here. Where he's going to buy right now? My contention is that why aren't you scalping off that first bottom? And why is this so hard? Why is this not a good trade? Unadvanced pattern trading. Uh, you know this low exists, so you put a buy limit there. And your target's going to be here. And then you do it again. And then you can't believe it happens three times. This is like the old uh, psychological trick. Well, lightning doesn't strike t uh, twice. Okay. So you've been told that your whole fucking life. you got that bullshit in your head when it comes to trading. But these markets, can they, they, they're the gift that keeps on giving. Especially if you're 80% of the market is this. People are trying to get on this long train. They're like, yeah, I see it. I see what you're saying. I see you're not working it up trend. And the thing is, if you overloaded here saying, well, it's just going to retest that and then we're on our way. You're fucked. You're underwater. Or maybe you got stopped out super tight and you had just a perfect a Goldilocks trade plan. And when this happens, you're clean out until the next harmonic. This harmonic traders got to get the fucking shit together. You're going to need 20 Gartleys on there. Fuck this. Oh, this is where the swing. No, there's a million swings within a million swings. So if you're really going to do that, put an order on every uh, apex, every possible apex that could ever, would ever be. Every cloud, every cloud trader sees, you know, you can make a whole fucking uh, uh, poetic uh, meme out of that shit. Date my daily. Um, I love these. And it's not like I haven't read every fucking. Um, almost every book on trading like and if you and if i haven't i can almost uh you know tell you that there's going to be very little bit about trading and scaling in and scaling out and multiple ticket trading which is just too complicated and so the guy's saying to me well you just want it easy i no, no actually i'm making it way more difficult obviously all these fucking orders in here not to mention if you trade it buy and sell right if you trade just one direction buy limit, buy stop, you at least have your brain set to do this, um, that everything's directed like that, and you know when to get out, and you know when to reload. So getting out is your selling. Your take profit is the revolving door. Now, if you were to put sells in right now, sell stops, sure, why not? You may not get filled. See, because if you're right about the next five minutes that comes down the pike, then the market goes up, take something off the table, now you throw in buy limits below. Now, here's the, the, the hard part. If you have a fixed amount of margin you want to use every day, so you're constantly looking at your percentage involvement, and you know that if you launch this other order down there, you have potential of getting exposed to that for 15 minutes, and then you're just dancing with the market. Up, down, up, down. So you, you make money during the scope phase, and then you're like, you know what, this thing probably is going to go up. And you let a, a smaller position ride with a wider stop, and, you know, there you go. So you're not making, but psychologically, you're going to be upset because you're going to think, gee, I wish I would have held on to a, uh, a bigger position through that. So if you're trading the noise with, a, with kind of a bigger system to make money off of smaller moves, then as soon as you uh, make that math linear so that the, the bigger swings have the smaller positions then your brain's still going to want to wish that you just held down to that big fucking position and you maybe can do that on another account so you can satisfy that need because if you don't um take care of these issues that come up this uh, do-gooder stuff and this um this uh that devil uh worship right so you have the devil on one shoulder the angel on the other this shit's going to come into your uh, decision making because say you're making a bunch of money and you're like, holy shit, this really is going to go the way I think it's going to go. And you're like, oh boy, you know, um, gee, just should have rolled that out. And, uh, but the, the, the amount of money you make, and I heard somebody say this years ago and I thought, well, that's complete bullshit. They say, you'll make as much money, uh, um, 
as you want to make. And people want well, to make a million dollars, but yeah. Um, when people get to that point where they're up 10 grand and they've never made two grand a, year, uh, a week, they're going to get the fuck out. Then that thing's going to go up. Well, I did it. I did it in the bond market and options market. Uh, uh, tickets I bought for $30 were now going for $800 a piece, and I got out the next day, and they were going for $1,600 a piece two days later. I, $30, U.S. bond market. So it was like one of those Brexit moves. And I loaded up the wagon on these uh, call options, naturally. And uh, I, was like, I just looked at them going, these are going to expire worthless. There's like uh, five days left on these things. Market explodes up. Even the puts went up in value because the volatility. The funny thing is about option trading is that if the ATRs are low and you put on the uh, hedged, the butterfly, and then when you say butterfly there, you're talking about how you hedge into these things, a butterfly option. So option trading and hedge trading and stop entry, it's all the same thing. Like right now, you would say, I'm, gonna, uh, I'm going to buy puts and calls right now on the Forex, on the Euro dollar, because it hasn't gone anywhere yet. So if I only paid 30 bucks for one leg and 30 bucks for the other leg, and I'm expecting them to go to 200 by the end of the day. Yeah, that's how you're making the money in this option stuff, right? Um, if you know how to do that. But the problem there is that there's a delta beta and all this shit going on behind the scenes that's creating the price of that option instrument. Whereas here, you're actually looking at your balance fluctuate and you can put hard stops in. Like, I put buy stops in right now. If I put the scalp stop in right there at the top, and this is kind of a little bit uh, more aggressive, and there's there's a 4K right there. If I stack up these buy stops here, I'm like, okay, I'm long from that bottom. I'm holding. I pull it back to the, I think there's probably news coming out at 10 o'clock, seven minutes. So I'm holding right here. I've been scalping in and out, kind of like taking a little bit off the table during this noise period. And now I'm just holding, and i got buy stops here, and getting that sweet spot of margin. That, to me, is at the ultimate. You've got just the right amount of margin, and you're not, because um, you're dancing with the devil. I mean, the market can go up and down so fast, so hard, that you have the appropriate... Um, trade plan for the way it's behaving so if you got a psycho babe that um say she drinks a lot you know you got to get some food in this babe you know even if she gains weight you gotta get some food in this girl and um maybe you got to get the crack horse some beer right and then we get her something to eat so the buy stop the passive trading this is where you apply somebody with beer and the um the aggressive thing is the um, putting in these limits and saying, well, I'm just going to buy down here at double bottom. And I'm going to buy the double bottom. Uh, I'm not going to buy on the breakout of the triple top, triple bottom range. But this is the whole uh, um, mind twister. Okay, so right now you're at failed value, right? Can we agree that right now the price is right in the middle of that range and you could have bought at the market there? Or are you just going to let you get stopped in and add to your position? So if you really think this is going up, you're either building a position or scalping in the zone. But this goes on for quite a bit of time here this morning. And I think there's probably some type of natural gas or whatever. But you can see the market anticipating the news. We bid this down into the jobs report. You know, people are like, well, I'm going to get out. You know, I mean, look at this amazing trap of about what is this about a how much pips on this trap up here so the very top then they tell you in trading you can't pick tops and bottoms well you have to what do you think the supposed Gartley geniuses are doing hell they're picking fucking the tip of the right or left bat wing on a bat ridiculous and people fall for that shit Oh, yeah, that sounds really good. The more complicated it is, you know, makes it even sound like a better idea. It's so fucking, who would make this shit up, right? It's got to work. Like, look, they got computers doing, they got computers, Mildred, they got computers 
that are rigging the market and you go in there and come on really so we're waiting for a break out of this range or we're waiting for a break out to the bottom and all the bears are going to make money if we take this out and they and they stay short okay four minutes ago we're waiting for this thing to hit it or quit it and um actually about three minutes to go here we've got to this is the do or die moment now well in the world of setups this is supposedly the ultimate setup it just happens to be on the five minute right now that you have a breakout pullback and you have follow through ISM manufacturing coming out in 30 seconds so the market's getting really frisky you could see a pop right on the news and a rip back or we're we gonna smash up into here okay 15 seconds till news my clock's a little slow here so the first thing we want to do is scalp out of this, make it to this dotted line. Here we go, news is out. So the spread just went kind of wide. We should be taking profits on something right now. And then right, it, we, the next profit's going to be here, and we could just blow out the top, right? We could just, at this point, we could make a stampede and engulf the whole uh, day. Let's see how that was the trap. Now the sellers came in on that wick. Let's see how they do with it. Let's see if they make any headway on that trade. And this will be the moment of truth in the next uh, five minutes. Let's see where we're at. We're getting some follow through here. Here's a little broker arbitrage. I have a tick chart from another broker. If you're scalping, and you know which broker has the leading price by a few milliseconds so you want to get a broker with a slow feed and you can have uh, once you figure out who's the faster broker when the um, so when these people are when the when people are getting gaps in their charts the other broker is actually trading the other one's frozen so I've made a lot of money on the news arbitraging between a bad broker and a, and a good broker then you can watch the actual um, price, but you know these these tick charts are out of control at this time of day. If this is going to go up, uh, say ten pips right now, that'd be quite a move actually in this market. Another five pips would be amazing. So I'm cashing out as we go up into the thing here. And then I can reload on a retest. We could still come smashing back again. Crazy uh, psycho tick chart on this uh, broker. So you got double bottom there. Double bottom on this chart. This guy's a little bit ahead of this the tick chart. Spread's way better. Playing commissions over here, though. So you're getting a faster uh, look. Liquidity, liquidity feed you're seeing it uh, so we turn off all the other symbols in here okay so they trapped them right at, that was the target right there we would have got out at that dotted line on something and now maybe we let the rest ride but we could also come smashing back so I want to put in buy limits again so this is where it is, getting the sweet spot of how much margin you want to use. Now this is uh, one hour, I'll buy this pullback if we come back again. So how many times have you seen this happen? Market just keeps coming back. It never gets out of this damn trap, and they just got them in this just complete, you know, just up and down, up and down. And you're like, come on, man. Like, I, I don't know about you, but I'm just thinking... Um, we're going up. Could we just like get this over with? This is the the check that keeps um, forgetting something at home. This is why um, you know a lot of guys go to jail for beating their wives because they're like, honey, how many times are you gonna come back to this? Like we've been there, done that. Let's just go. How about this? We go down. And another big uh, problem with Gartley trading. It m makes you think the market's like this. Well, we'll just get in. What we'll do is we will just uh, we'll get in here and we'll get out here. Yeah, but along the way, how do you handle these wicked spikes? 
I, what the fuck? You, you know, this idealized view, this is utopianism coming in to your uh, philosophy. You think the market's a utopia, that you're in some fucking um, action movie. Well, yeah. I said, okay, it, it's, it's basically 80% chop, even when it's trending. Okay, I'm looking for the next target to be right here on my magical indicator. Look at how perfectly picked, uh, right in the middle of fair value right now, if you consider that. I'll say the ATR just went up, so I wouldn't touch it now. Whatever you're in, you let it go. And once again, the magical indicator, of course, this doesn't work on Monday night. Another problem is the indicator is written to be a daily pivot. Maybe it works not even on daily. There's sort of a flaw in it. So this thing that's in that first stop entry demo, which I'm running right now, that's, but you don't need that, right? It's better you draw a line there. Or now the buy stop guy's making money. I wouldn't say making a ton. He's in on this trade. Confirmation entry people are in based on a breakout here. They're like, oh, how long now? You've convinced me. Uh, so the the, uh, the the getting in at the support, constantly here, building the, padding your account, and then just trading a small amount. Maybe the sellers are coming in here. Well, of course they are. Can they hold it back? If it pauses here and this becomes a, a this becomes a t top becomes a bottom right here, they pause it there. Then it's just going to weasel its way up. It's it's itching to fill the void there, and it's itching to fill a void that's been going way back. But we should be out of something right now. We don't want to be in. You know, ideally, if you think about this Gartley stuff, instead of wasting your time with these fantastical pastel ciphers, just start making up um, uh, executable trades. You never make money uh, looking at a... Look at the sellers coming here. You never make money looking at the um, chart. You have to be trading it. Wow, look at that. Look at that trap right there. See how this chick chart looks different than this one. Big gush down here, different different feeds. You know, it's funnier now because if you put on these up, it's like you're in your own trading pit, right? I got a, I got a friend that spends uh, like $100 a month on pit view. I'm like, you want a pit view? Put, a, put five brokers tick charts on your screen on one instrument. You can't even believe it's the same instrument. Just watch rig, Mildred. You see what's going on here. So I'll put my other tick chart up here. Completely different feed. This is... Um... Now if you turn off all the other symbols, your tick chart can look like this. That's right, you too can have a check tick chart. And of course, the data, feed, the data set here is very narrow. Look at this thing. The punishment. Pulling that back hard. So if you're trading at the market, you're looking at this tick chart and you're just like look at them. See why you had to get out of something? Look where this thing's coming back to. Okay, now I'll put in some buy stops. So when you click on this chart, that's gonna you're not gonna see those guys. You gotta click on those brokers to bring those back in. But you could have another monitor just for the tick charts. And you should be able to see the millisecond if you just come down here and um, if you click on that, not on a demo, seems like only real accounts have, like if you click on it, here you go. See this at 256 milliseconds. So this would be your broker that you'd actually place the orders on. The other broker, you just open a demo on a very fast broker. See this, the, this broker is ahead of everybody. This just broke out. Now I can put a buy stop in here with with uh, confirmation because I just saw it go up. I just saw somebody bet it up. Oh, 
Let's see, they're trapping people here now. But no, Phil, I'm very far away. Big shootout here. Especially when the, when the spreads got wide. Look, they pull us back, see? Look at the sellers come in there and take it through the floor. Now put buy stops in. That's why you gotta get out of stuff. They're not done fucking with this. Come on, we've seen this a million times. Okay, so we put some buy stops in here. I'll play along. So if you got out of half your position already. So if you're if you're long, you, you you took profits before that came. And if you're not in as much margin as you think you should be in, because you still think it is gonna go up in the end, then you're gonna add right now. And if I put, if these don't fill, okay, I'm back to fair value nearly. Let's get rid of the. Uh... Okay, so now the now it's huge. I'm going to put buy limits in because now the ATR is too big to put stops in. I'll just buy and pullbacks for a new low. I'm going to buy a new low. That'd be the ultimate. Come down here, really smash these people out. Okay, now I'm going to put buy stops in. So it's trap to trap. Uh, the sell limits, you're up on those if they're sitting at the trap zone. That looks like a nice meltdown coming. Okay, this is where you just load up on limits. I really do think they could blow out the bottom now. So I'll put buy stops in. All the way down 10 pips there. So 10 pips up. It's uh, you're up. If you sold at the top there, you're up about 12 pips right now. Now I'm going to put buy stops in. Look at them retest that. See? This is the bitch that leaves her keys back at the house. What if we really are going up? Crazy, huh? That's what the, that's how people are getting crushed. You really gonna draw a fib on this now? Let's see who recovers the first here. We keep tanking. Is that a are we really going down? Well, I don't know. That was too fast of a move, I think. Okay, so we lock in the stops there. If we're wrong, oh well. If we're if it doesn't go up, we won't get filled. Now we're actually getting filled, and we maybe committed to too much margin because we still got buy limits below that we're expecting the market drop another ton pips and go back to the 50-yard line, spike into that, create a hammer, then pause and then rip out the top. But maybe this will be the kickback. When you look back in history on the five minute, you go, oh, that's that little wick there, kickback. And then now we're really going to go up. So this is the kind of market behavior that creates domestic violence. And, you know, it's frustrating to uh, have a big picture and be on the small time frame getting kicked out trying to get aboard a big wave a big move so you're looking at the small time frame and you're just like well maybe i should just scalp the small time frame. here we go i think i'm gonna blow the bottom out now pretty frantic pretty frantic so here the market proves you right if we go down here now i'm gonna just load in this uh buying every 10 pips all the way down Gonna stack that up. 
I think we could go down to uh, another 10 pips real hard right now. Big smash down coming now. Blow your mind. Oof. So still no fills, I think, on these stops. Oh, we got to go down 10 pips now. No way around it. Wow, look at that. Got to go down five and trap these people. So I got my finger on the buy stop trigger because I don't have any market orders on here. So I'd be laying scalps in first if it drop if it continues to tank. Just gonna put some monster grids down there. So this could be the final crush down, and now you go up like the dollar Canadian uh, trade. Gonna tip the scales here, fall through the floor. Okay, I'm just sitting on my finger on the trigger, waiting to buy on stops. So this is out, and uh, that's not gonna matter because we got to get some, well, pick up some tickets here. Stops are just sitting, just there. Okay, so I'm long on stops. If we go crushing up, I'm going to pick get picked up on the ride here. Otherwise, it's lights out. We'll pause here for five minutes and go right through the floor. I'm just going to keep putting in my initial buy scalps I'm going to put uh, 4k's in now and the scalp is going to get out pretty conservative exits on this thing so was that a retest or should we have sold here in anticipation of the breakout because it's going to break out anyways if we put our sell stops one pit below here Right now we're underwater, and we're like, what the fuck? And here, this is such a fast move. Right to the quadruple bottom, I'm telling you. Stupid, huh? Dumb, dumb and dumber trading. Seriously. So stupid. Now we could go through the floor. So they take it up to here, right back to fair value, then through the floor. So that they're always accumulating more. This will make more even more pressure. The longer this vacuum, the longer it trades sideways like this, the thicker the plot gets and the more energy there is to go either way now. So the continuation down today would be, oh, well, we'll just sell right here at Fail Barrel, and now we're going to lock in a hedge here, maybe. Or maybe we're getting out of our stuff we bought at the fourth time to this line. Cash out, so it's always going to be up here. Uh, say here, where this top became a bottom and it went up. So if you bought here, you're out already on that trade. You have to be out of something. Because if you're really trying to make half of that range and your stop is just outside of that range, so if all your trading looks like that you buy here with a stop here to get out here, that's a good ratio, and you sell up here with a stop to get out here, you know, good ratio, right? Sell here with a stop here to get out here. Incredible ratios, right? But very, I mean, you're talking about uh, just a few pips. 5, 10, 8 pips. So now do we go take out this top and go roaring north and everybody's just like, what in the fuck? And uh, Thursday. So Wednesday is... Well, today we got a new high in Asia. And then we tumbled back into the 
uh, break out from uh, Tuesday night into Wednesday. But now we're just sitting here going sideways. But if, if in 10 minutes we can go back to this dotted line, I should be taking something off the table in profit, say. To constantly making money on some level, not waiting for the completion of some Gartley. I just try to run a system on this other broker that uh, butchers all your stops and, and moves all your stops and uh, FXCM will move all your orders in a big blanket. They'll take every ticket you have and they'll combine them and move a master stop and a master take profit without you asking. I don't know if that's a good thing. Um, and so I never met my target last night on the Euro rally. And uh, it's just stupid. Okay, so here's the moment of truth. We're sideways, we're stalled out. The sellers should come in now and take it down. So that the sellers came in at fair value. Now we're going to go through the floor. That would be the, the if you're going to trade the market, that's the logical place to sell right here. It rallies back up. You know, it's in a downtrend. You sell every rally in a downtrend. You buy every pullback and every sell off in an uptrend. That's how you're loading. That's how you're building into the position, pyramiding it, waiting for that um, final completion. And in eight hours, you dump the whole thing. And then uh, start the whole cycle over again. So here's the tick charts again. Let's see who's first on the on the uh, ride up. Okay, got to get to this uh, one ten seventy four. Okay, got to get get up here. Um, ten pips, eight pips. Oh. So you could be getting stopped out during this accumulation phase, and in the end you're going to say, I knew it was going up. Uh, I knew that was a pullback. And you're so excited about it, you start loading up really hard. See, now, the video I'm going to post in the comment line here has to do with he wouldn't have been stopped out of this trade, mind you, but the guy that waited for confirmation put a buy stop here, and he put up protection here. He's currently underwater. So this is, I guess, the big controversy is, do you put a buy limit here without knowing whether or not you're going to get stopped out of that? Or do you put a, um, a pussy trade here where you, Oh, I'll buy here when I get confirmation that it's going up. Well, there it's going up. In fact, you could have even had a buy stop here and got in on this fractal. But if you can get out of something, at this time of the game, you're underwater. Now, do you feel like buying more down here? Well, fuck no. Not if you've already used up your 2% of your account for the day. You feel like it, and you got to feel like it, right, or you wouldn't even be doing it. you got to feel like it's worth pressing a button. Oh, yeah, it looks like a good trade. Not the best trade, right? You're going to have to, like, uh, maybe the girl you married looks like a fucking train wreck, and every girl you dated looks like a model from a magazine, but you're not going to be able to... You know, the girl, the girl's a train wreck might actually have you have a conversation with her, or at least have a good argument with her. At least have something to, uh, you know, somebody you can fight with verbally. And, uh, you know, maybe that's the relationship. But all this Gartley stuff to me is just like an airbrushed, um, you know, photo of a model. It's like putting yoga pants on your chart, you know. Yoga pants are not good for everything. So we have a quadruple bottom here on the five-minute chart. Unadvanced pattern trading.
you know, can somebody explain to me why natural gas is coming out in uh, three minutes and the market's going berserk into natural gas, which is a low... It's so funny. Something else is going on. So we're retesting the top of this range again. Once again, here we back. Okay, almost out of my scalps. I'll let the rest roll. Natural gas coming out here in two minutes. Get about uh, ten seconds till natural gas report. Right up against resistance on the five minute chart. And there you go. Natural gas is out. It's over. Read it and weep. The quadruple bottom was the biggest winning trade on the five minute chart. Hands down, hands up. This move was good. This one was okay. Made more pips. The total auction. Quadruple bottom. Now they trap the uh, the bulls, and the question is now: Do we rip it back, or do we just start cleaning house and going after the uh, this target here? First target, and maybe that's it for the day. Probably going to get a pullback. Probably going to get a pullback. I believe it or not, I would say there's possible of ten to twenty pips. After we come up here, then we come ripping back. Or maybe just go smashing right, pause here, and then we go rip through the top. Who knows? Who cares? Certainly getting out along the way. All the take profits are going to trigger on the way to this target. We scale out, and this way we make money. Uh, we satisfy the need to make some money along the way and the need to... Uh, swing trade it. Or maybe you're getting the hell out right now. If you're scalping this, you're probably about to get out in the next five pups. We get to the 20-yard line. And this says 110.80. Right here, you're dumping. Because you see the trap. That's the, the typical bull trap there. 15. There's not even... You can't see all those bottoms on the 15. So you're getting a quadruple bottom on the 5. The 15 just is one bottom. These these are real bottoms, too. These aren't those uh, um, wick bottoms. See all the wick bottoms? Bottom, 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 bottom. That's the 5-minute living inside there, but the 15? And here's the node. Here is the... The floor target on this is this number here. The robot's drawing that for me. So this order, this uh, color here, if I'm running the exact same indicator, I got different indicators on each screen here, though. This one's set to uh, five minutes. And this one is set to um, uh, some longer time. So let me, let me put the five minute up there. So this way you can see the exits. I call this Spectrum Five. I don't know if this is on the latest version of that. I guess the I guess I could uh, on the weekend I could upload the latest version of this thing. Um, So here's all my indicators. Spectrum 5 on this side updates quite often. So this floor here is actually um, a little bit above that. So if you zoom out on the one hour, now you see tit for tat there. And maybe you just have it on this screen. But look how this thing nailed this uh, top. 
this is not anything special this is just uh, picking the ATR range the blue is the bid and ask and here's the middle of the pivot every five minutes it's supposed to update this indicator so wait for some follow through to this we'll, we'll scalp out to here and then wait for the uh, pullbacks Looks like the bears are losing ground here it's the top of the hour and you're coming into the close of whatever top of the hour and right there if you put on a uh, a hedge there looking for to come up to the yellow line still running the five minute update here so now we have a perfect touch on that uh, bottom right now because the five minute indicator is updated to the last five minutes and just waiting for that um, one minute spike up all the tick charts are going nuts on the upside we've got 30 seconds left to make it to that yellow line and bango we're out we're done then I'm gonna throw buy limits in and if I didn't have I don't have the right one ready to go I think I could definitely get in too tight so but I will run this uh, right now to buy five pips deep on a pullback should we come back to here again so baby left her keys at home we got to come back again sellers should come in right now the top of the hour they're getting out and sellers are coming on this trap if this isn't a trap if this isn't pull back here then yeah you could just go totally smashing back but we got to be getting out of stuff here and then I'm gonna put in uh, by five pips deep 10 uh, two hours here and this I'm just gonna throw in the kitchen sink on the pullbacks And this is going to be my aggressive uh, entry for if that's a real breakout, maybe it has to pull back to, or if that's your typical breakout, where it has to pull back to this top now. So we should be out of most of our stuff through this, uh, this chatterbox here. And the, um, so I don't know if this account's making any money. Uh, this is the demo account. It's up 20 bucks from yesterday. So I'm not in very big. And nothing's ready to take. Here's ready to take profits here. This is the scalps. And here's the buy limit. So I'll get in more. I'm at $73 a margin. It's not too big. So you're looking for the Goldilocks margin amount, really. It's not the holy grail, it's the, it's the amount of margin you're using. Okay, we just cashed out of something. I know we just picked up a buy stop, I think. We're up a buck. So basically, everything I can do, I'm going to send it for. And all the buy stops are gone. And um, there's some solids up here. I think I have this up there. I don't have there. So that up here, I'm going to start up here. So I took profit, just moved up. This uh, went to here, and now this uh, internal pivot went to here. So very short, kind of short point coming now. And just kind of two hours of margin. If we hit up at $1,460, that would be up um, at $4,600 and about $25 here. And the account started off kind of, I took about $2,000 head and bang, so we're about, um, we're going to make back um, $6,000 to get to this price, to this balance. Cash and money on the way. Hopefully, we'll find it. Wrapping this was flat. And now I'm coming behind it with the bottom that's chasing behind. In case we had it turned back on this. It's the 8 hour, 1 hour, 2 hour, you know, uh, 10 pips in the middle of Dave. So we're going to miss a stop, stop some obvious things and some of these really minutes. Okay, 5 minutes after the top, the hour is coming. And uh, I can get another one right now. If everything's uh, winning, nothing's in the water. This is the worst trade in the sense that this one here went from $2.20. So you can just don't now walk away. It always works. So I definitely uh, got out of about the total flat on some accounts right now. Just because I was a high probability trade. Now I could get spot maybe a little bit, but they got the high like and it's marching off now. And it's like a pretty good drift. Oh, it's back up. 
first back up, get it on get it out. That's all there was. Just hoping to hope we don't get married to this thing. So it's uh tick chart mania. I'm almost out of everything. I have uh four brokers tick charts here. Okay, we got four pips to go to the 90. 100 yard, 100 yard lines is about 15 pips away. Maybe by the bottom of the hour, we're back to the round handle. Okay, so just got out everything I'm in. I just went flat there. Now I'm going to put buy limits in. And that's it. The buy limits in. So if you if you really were gonna hold on to this trade, you'd say, well, I'd buy five pips deep, sure, why not? I mean, who wouldn't buy if they could get a slightly cheaper now on pullbacks? So who knows what's gonna happen here, but I definitely want to uh, scalp out of this stuff and pad the account we can always get in on pullbacks and if you're really see now if you bought at the market now it'd be ridiculous because we could probably pull back five pips so I just keep on coming underneath with this order and since I got the cells up there you can't see it so here's all the pending buy limits getting ready to fill so top to bottom Right here is the cells, and this is, we're waiting to get filled on a bunch of orders here. So you're flat. Look at all these damn limits waiting to get filled. I just stripped off all the cell limits so I could see my buy limits about to fill here. See, look at that. You're back in. See, now, the idea that you were going to ride this thing, so I just picked up a 4K. Now this to me, if the confirmation is that, oh, we're going up, now you buy on pullbacks. We could get another pullback before we go up. It's not going to go a straight line, and that's in our favor. So now I'm in about a 5K. But for the next eight hours, I'm ready to buy on a, on a, on a retest of that. Maybe we never do go up. Maybe this really is it. But that was hell of a run there. And so maybe you put buy stops in now, right? But there's nothing wrong with trading small after that. Look at that run. Nice clean right off that quadruple bottom. So the double bottom made money. The triple bottom made money. And the quadruple bottom made even more money. So pressure was building up on either side of this thing. It could have gone either way. So now it looks like it could go up here was the pullback to this top. We pull back to the 20-yard line. Now, if I don't think I'm in enough, I could put some buy stops in here. Trend continuation trade. I'm already in some limits. Very small margin now. And once the account gets to two grand, this this is totally backwards. People are saying, well, the bigger the account gets, the bigger you trade. No. You trade it big when you've only got $100 in there. And when you get to 500 you start to really trade it like a, uh, very gingerly. Because you know that if you have all these pendings out there that are peppered all over the thing, and they're very small orders, that you just know the system is designed to make money from that. When people start to increase their size because they're getting better at the account, it's like... If you can carry uh, uh, 10 plates out of the kitchen, why aren't you carrying 50 plates out of the kitchen? Because it's unstable. It's, it's psychologically too big a burden here. So I dumped everything at this line, which you kind of, you know, you know the sellers are coming in, so you want to get the fuck out. Right at this bottom, this window here, this trap zone, you want to you dump everything. Now you're buying limits. Maybe buying stops. Or maybe you buy every five minutes this pull back at the market back into here then you load up and then maybe we do take off tonight 
thing going further north. Maybe we keep going down. Maybe this is a cell. Maybe we got to go down another 40 pips. You don't know. But pad the account with the scalps. And if you have, if you can handle the patience, you ride out these big swings. Buy stop now, right? Scalps. Always putting that scalp in. Always trying to pick up a little bit. Always got to sell the key rings to pay the rent, to pay your gas bill, and then the other stuff. Yeah, there's some, there's some giant moves in here. But it takes so much sideways action to create a big move. It takes so much consolidation on triangle before there'll be an explosion. So maybe there's only one or two, three good bursts up and down out of, where the market just goes screaming in one direction. You clean up. Wow, it's over. This is like, you know, you come out of the bar at uh, 1 o'clock in the morning and all these poor uh, damsels are drunk as a stunk, a skunk. And this is, the, that window doesn't last very long. It's like, let me, I can walk you home. You could ride on my back. We could we could play uh, horsey. So buy stops now, right? And now maybe you go in there like a trend continuation trader. And you've still got all this pending liability that if it does come back, you'll buy in that pullback. So euro dollar, scalping the euro dollar this morning. News and all. Don't be afraid of the news. Spread's got wide. Okay, just got filled on buy stops here. All of a sudden, I'm in $22 a margin again. 